där jag är. Jag är glad att vi har träffats och vill gärna ses om de släpper oss. Om ni släpps före mig så säg till världen att jag inte är terrorist utan en journalist som arbetar för sanningen. Jag önskar er lycka till, båda två. And that friend was telling me that he was almost crying because his son cannot visit him every week. So he agreed with his wife uh, to bring their son every one or two months. And his parents, his father is 91, his mother is 80 something. They cannot, there is no way for them to take the public transport to visit him. So they have never seen him for the last three, four months or more than that. And uh, sadly enough, they are not allowed to take more than 100 per from their visitors per month. The international media is not willing to pick it up. Uh, of course, they have uh, more uh, hot news uh, somewhere else. Uh, that demonstration is not as such uh, getting a permit from the government because those demonstrations are taking place within the mosque in most cases. So there is no need to, to get a uh, permit for that. Uh, yet, the government started two, three months back uh, a nationwide crackdown against the Muslim activists. Uh, and four of the journalists who are in prison, four of them are pretty released on bail two weeks back, but two of them are still there, certain Muslim journalists who used to report about this demonstration. Uh, and these two journalists are also facing a terrorism charge. Um, we haven't heard much about them, but they are still in prison. Uh, the other one, which is uh, called by Blue Party, and another party also joins that, and they are also calling and holding uh, demonstrations in major cities. Uh, for some observers, it is a signal of some kind of reform after the days of the late Prime Minister. Uh, for me, I can hardly take this as a sign of reform. It is, it is a kind of probably uh, calculated risk taken by the government to release some of uh, the, the grievances. Otherwise, I, I don't see any change of policy or attitude towards uh, the opposition and the democratic forces. And I don't think it will continue uh, this way. Uh, the government will stop giving these kind of permissions uh, at some point. Uh, for example, uh, one of the parties uh, planned to have a demonstration today, uh, marking the day Sindhu was arrested. Uh, it, and it was the end of uh, two, three months long demonstration which was taking place all over the country. Uh, the government said uh, no. Why? Because uh, Monday is uh, a school opening day. It's a new year and schools are opening on Monday. So uh, it's not ideal to have a demonstration on two days before the school day. Thank <laughs> you.